Hey yellow spaghetti here and welcome back to my made whammon. Today we're gonna to be continuing doing episode 18, so let's just jump into it with our legs. Three pairs of eyes are watching my every move. How do I even answer that question when I don't even have the answer? <laughs> what a sudden question! <laughs> I can't hide the awkwardness in my tone. I think as your maids, we have the right to know where you stand. How can I stand if I don't have legs? Oh wait, I do have legs, frick! Mina and Kim nod passively, agreeing with Anna's comment. They do have a point. Right, I hope you don't feel pressured or anything. Uh, <laughs> I don't! Not at all! Now's the time to change the topic. So, how's school going? No, I'm not changing the topic. Why would you think I'm changing the topic? I'm, I'm clearly not changing the topic here. <laughs> hey, I never noticed you had pink hair, Kim. Are you seriously changing the topic? Ah, when it comes to reading my thoughts, Kim knows me the best. So is it me, Anna, or Mina? Solid, awkward silence fills the room, and then my phone rings. It's my teammate. What should I do? Uh... Is that your phone ringing, Master? I believe it is. Now if you'll excuse me, ladies, I need to take this call. They look at each other suspiciously. Will you come back afterwards? You still owe us ma- You still owe us answers, Master! <laughs> yes, yes, noted girls. I rush upstairs to, come to the comfort of my room, dodging the bullet aimed at me. I pick up the phone only to be greeted by my teammate's angry voice. Ah! Are you crazy, dad? Huh, what did I do? Dude, did you just quit nationals? And where are you? You're supposed to be practicing, dude! It's a long story, house coach. Bro, he looks like bad news. You better show up tomorrow or else. All right, all right, all right, I'll be there tomorrow to clear things up. We hang up later, and it dawns on me that I still need to face coach. After classes end the next day, the first thing I do is head to the gym. My teammates rush over to ask me if I'm really quitting the nationals. I don't get, the an I don't get to answer because coach cuts in and speaks first. There you are, noodle man. I need to have a word with you. We sit on the bleachers, far from my teammates in the girls' basketball team. Principal told me everything, so pardon me for not fully understanding. I heard that you needed to focus on your studies for the time being. Yes, coach, which is why I'm dropping out of the lineup for nationals. That's too bad. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll support you no matter what. What should I say? I'll make you proud someday. You already have. It's just a pity you won't be able to join. It sucks, but priorities will be priorities. I promise someday, I'll be worthy of joining the Nationals. There's no need to say that. Everybody knows how skilled you are. Problem is now, how am I supposed to find a replacement for you? I chuckle and give Coach a sincere smile. I'm sure somebody's deserving of my spot. Ever so humble, Noodle Man. I like that. Coach pats my back. Even though you can't join the Nationals, you're still a member of the basketball team. So, can I still join practices? Definitely. I suggest that you prioritize your review for your exams, though. The target grade is doable, but it's not easy. Right. It's gonna be t a tough one for me. Work hard, and hey, easy on the girls, Noodle Man. Coach returns to oversee practice while I start my walk home. I stop in my tracks when I feel something pulling on my shirt from behind. I look over my shoulder to see Mia. It's Mina. Does she really have to be this cute every time she wears a uniform? Why do you have to be so cute, Mina? Gosh dang it! You're making this decision hard! Oh hey Mina, how's basketball practice going? Mina doesn't look thrilled right now. I, I need your advice, little man. Do you have a moment? No problem, tell me. You see, I'm thinking of quitting the basketball team. The other girls are improving so quickly. 
I can't help but feel like I'm becoming a burden to the team. What should I say? Are you quitting because of me? I mean, is it because I won't be coming to practice as much as I as before? Uh, maybe, but I swear I really take basketball seriously. I hope that you'll watch me play someday, Noodle Man. I find it hard not to smile at Mina's innocence. I tuck a strand of her hair. I struck. I ah. I tuck a strand of her hair behind her ear. Then don't give up on basketball, Mina. I won't give up, Noodle Man. I mean, don't force yourself on my account either. I'm not forcing myself, though. The world stops when I feel a pair of soft arms wrap around me. Mina's hugging me in the gym for everyone to see. Aww. Aww. I really like you, Noodle Man. I really do. Mina is confessing to me. I I'm speechless. Mina blushes hard when she notices the people are watching us, and then runs away quickly. I guess I'll have to talk to her later. I make it a point to drop by the hallway to get my books. Kim is talking to a guy from my class with a scowl on her face. I don't know what compels me to do it, but I approach them. Hi, what's with the grim faces? What's up, uh, What's up, Noodle Man? I was just telling Kim that nobody wants to date her because... Because she's a man-hater. Ah, uh, Kim usually gets grumpy about this topic. What should I do? <laughs> right? I've known Kim for years and she's always been this way. That's not true. Do you really think I'm a man-hater? Er, uh, maybe. You're not very nice to most guys. That's because I already like someone. You do? Are you serious? Yep, why does that come to why does that come as a surprise to you? My classmate senses the strange vibe between Kim and I, so he excuses himself. I know that Kim is planning to escape, so I pull her against me. Tell me, Kim, who is this guy? N -n no one. It's really none of your business. We're best friends. Your business is my business. Is he a good guy? Can he take care of you? Can he? <laughs> we just got confessed to by Mina again, and now Kim, like 30 seconds later. Oh man, help. I think I need, I think I need a minute. I'm feeling a little lightheaded, you know. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take a nap. Oh, the floor is comfortable. So, we've come to the conclusion that we're in a dilemma that all three of the women like us. And that's pretty typical, because it is a visual novel. And I can't really think of who to pick. Like, at all. I might just have to host a poll or something. I don't know. Like, I, I really can't decide. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting up off the floor now. Ow. Alright. Ugh. <sighs> Yes, he can, because the guy I like is you. Did I hear that right? Is this my second confession of the day? Are, are, are you kidding? You heard me, but I'm not expecting you to like me back, though. I just wanted to be honest and tell you how I feel. Now, before I make things awkward, I'll go ahead I'll go ahead and head back to the mansion. Kim leaves, not giving me a chance to speak. Also, I don't know how to respond to the two confessions. The next day arrives, and I hang out with my teammates at the gym. I tell them that both Mina and Kim confessed to me yesterday. Yeah! Aren't you supposed to be studying during lunch? Hey, I studied so hard last night, I deserve a break. Yeah, whatever, so... How's it feel to have two girls to clear the love for you in one day? <laughs> what should I say? I honestly don't know. 
I'm still banned from dating my maids after all. It must feel like a burden to have those two girls tell you that they like you. Why don't you decide which one of the two you want to date? I nod. I don't... I don't even know my own feelings. <laughs> yeah, I'll make a wise choice. Before we part ways, my teammates give me one gives me some solid advice. I know I'm not the best person to say this, but honesty is the best policy, dude. Don't try to fool him with sweet lies, or you'll end up hurting them. I nod knowing full well what he says is true. Strangely enough, nobody welcomes me when I get home. I head on over to the kitchen only to find Anna with her finger bleeding. Anna, you're bleeding! What happened? Where's Where's Mina? Where's Kim? Anna has tears in her eyes when she turns around to face me. Master, I, I cut myself while slicing some veggies. I can't call Kim and Mina because they're still in school. I rush to her side to see that the cut is deep. Anna winces in pain. I need to think quick. What should I do? Call 911? I take my phone out of my pocket and start dialing 911. <laughs> uh, are you calling for an ambulance? Yes! Okay, we can't have my wife who's dying in my watch. We need 911 right now! Okay, that's it. I'm calling the police right now. We need 911. Okay, this is this is an emergency, you know. I, I don't... Okay, fine. I'm just... We need 911. Where's the police? Okay, we need 911 right now. Okay. Alright, uh. Alright, they're on their way. Yes, Anna, you're bleeding! She laughs at me despite her injury. I'm fine, Master. Just. Could you please hand me the first aid kit from the cabinet? Quick to my feet, I search the cabinet and give the first aid kit to Anna. She dresses her own wound with a thin bandage, and I feel useless. I'm sorry, Anna. I should have treated your wound. Anna shakes her head and suddenly hugs me. I stand there, frozen stiff. Why is Anna hugging me like this? Anna, are you okay? She releases her hold on me and nods shyly. I've been wanting to say this for a long time now, but... But... I, I, I've fallen for you. I mean, I know that Kim and Mina feel the same way. And... And I know I'm too old for you, but I just need to get this off my chest. Anna, to be honest... I don't know how to respond to this. Oh, man. Oh, man. Anna attempts to reply, but Kim and Mina show up in the kitchen. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Perfect. Now that all the girls are here, should we all talk? Don't tell me they're going to force me to choose again. I wish I had an answer for them, but I really haven't decided yet. I don't even know how to respond to all their feelings. Yes, let's hear what Master has to say. We still have time left before dinner, so shall we spend some time together and talk? Let's all be honest. After all, your dad is coming home in a few days. Do I want to sit down and admit my honest feelings to the girls? What should I do? <laughs> I can't. Fine. My buddy is right. Being honest is the best thing I can do. No problem. Let's sit and talk. We hate to put you in an awkward position, but as you know, your dad is flying back home in less than a week. I feel my palms sweating. I know I have to tell them the truth. C could you at least give us a hint? Which one of us are you planning to pick? But... 
But you don't have to respond to our feelings. <laughs> Anna, you're not going to be able to do it. Anna, that's embarrassing. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be Harem time. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. At least the three of us, uh, at least the three of us know that we all have feelings for him. G guys, Noodle Man wants to say something. The truth is, I really don't know. I might be a man, but I need some time to think about my own feelings too. It's not like we want to date you immediately. Just relax, Master. Good to know. Now, as to who I want as my permanent maid, the three look at me with eager eyes. Honestly, I haven't made my decision yet. Why not? Don't you want at least one of us to serve you? I shrug and I slowly look at each of them. The reason is, I want to keep you all. If I don't pick Anna, how will she earn enough money to pay her tuition? Oh, Noodle Man, you're always so thoughtful. I glance at Mina and see tears welling up in her eyes. If I don't choose Mina, I'm sure it'll hurt her feelings. Mina sobs and Kim and Anna console her. And if you don't pick me, nobody's gonna pay off the debt left by my dad. Right, you're all my friends, which is why this is so tough. Without any warning, my three maids wrap me in a huge bear hug. I'm left breathless as my face bumps into soft, pillowy things. <laughs> We're sorry, Master. We didn't, we didn't know this was so hard for you. Actually, I don't mind who you choose as long as that person serves you well. I agree, you deserve a maid who can treat you like royalty. Oh, don't say such sweet things. It makes it more difficult to decide. Don't worry about a thing. We'll support your decision. They squeeze me tighter with their hug. I go straight to fanboy heaven. Their sweet feminine scent awakens all five of my senses. You've done so much for us, Noodle Man. Thank you. It'll be so tough to part ways with all of you. So thank you, girls, for everything. We smile at each other, cherishing our remaining time left under one roof. It's past one in the morning when I have finished studying. I do miss basketball, but I'm focusing on reaching that target goal, the target grade. If I don't reach it, my maids will have to stop working for me. I take a quick look at my comfy bed, feeling exhausted. I could really use some sleep right now. In a split second, I'm just one step away from flopping on my bed. My plan is to sleep and get ruined when I hear a strange loud noise from downstairs. Instinct tells me to run downstairs, so I do so feeling groggy. While I'm not scared of ghosts or anything, I'm worried about burglars. Cautiously, I go to the kitchen where the noise is coming from. For my eyes, it is something I didn't expect. All my maids are in the kitchen, and the sink is overflowing. I turn on the faucet, and now it won't turn off. We tried to call a plumber, but it's after midnight already. I know you're tired from studying, but could you help us? What should I say? Yes, of course. You girls go get some rest. Dad taught me how to fix this. I'm so sorry about this. I must have twisted it too hard. No, no, no. It's not your fault. The rubber gasket just needs to be replaced. I skillfully fix the overflowing sink in no time. Thanks to what I learned from Dad. Even though I need sleep bad, I also dry up the slippery floor. Anna brings me some water. Brings some water for me, and I gulp it down. You really can do anything, Noodle Man. Seriously, you have a bag full of skills and talents. I'm jealous. Thanks, Master. I'm sorry for bothering you. I'm such a klutz. 
It was a piece of cake, no biggie. I wave goodnight, because I desperately need to rest. There's one thing that keeps me tossing and turning. I'm too tired to sleep, but my body feels restless. There's a knock on my door, and judging from the sound, it's Mina. She enters my bedroom with a tray of scented candles. Master, I saw that your light was still on, so I thought you might have trouble sleeping. Actually, you're correct. I'm kind of getting frustrated that I can't sleep. Finals are fast approaching, Master. May I light these candles? I nod so Mina lights the candles and sits on the edge of my bed. I don't know why, but just that is enough to excite me. Why'd you come anyway, Mina? I was thinking of giving you a massage as a way of thanking you for fixing the sink. Well, if you want to, I I'd love that. Mina positions herself and starts massaging my aching arm muscles. Keep going, that feels really nice. Like an obedient puppy, Mina massages with me with expert hands. Hey, I accidentally clicked outside of the game, so I had to um, restart the recording. Silly meme. Anyways, let's continue. So like an obedient puppy, Mina massages me with expert hands. Her soothing touch calms my nerves in the best possible way. Master, I know I'm not as talented in cooking or cleaning, but... I really, I really like serving you. I genuinely do. Mina touches my face and kisses my cheek. Oh. The bold move causes me to flinch and blush, but I like it. I'm touched, Mina. Literally. Thank you. I'm glad. I simply want what is the best for you. I play with her hair and she blushes. Ah. <laughs> Really have to reach 85% in the finals. Good luck. I won't fail you, Master. Kim and I are studying hard. That's so cute! Look at the smile! Oh, look at the smile. Okay, okay. She holds my right hand and gives me one more kiss. It's so cute that I find myself screaming internally. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Good night, Master. That Saturday, that Saturday, my maids are busy cleaning the living room. Good morning, Whammon. Busy day? Yep, your dad's coming home in two days, so we have to start cleaning. Time sure does fly. He'll be back from New York real soon. I hope he's happy with our performance. The front door opens before I get a chance to speak. Standing in the doorway is a familiar figure. Dad? Dad is home earlier than expected. What will I decide? Keep playing. Ah! He's early! Wow! He's early! Okay. So, that's the end of episode 18. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you thought of this video. And if you'd like me to play more soon, let me know. And be sure to check out the donation link in the description to support the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.